Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Sword Coast Legends. This is episode 7, and as you see, we are back in the night Nightmare Realm, which is very, very quiet and not disturbing in any way. And apparently, the ability trees have changed, and our points have been refunded. That being said, it looks like we get to spend the first part of this as a leveling up dealie. Okay, well, that's interesting. Sure. Alright, abilities. Our ability tree is reset and changed. I don't know what the changes are. I haven't read any patch notes, guys. This is actually news to me. I had no idea what was going on, so yeah. We exude a calming aura, granting a plus one bonus to all saving throws. But we're not going to go that route. And what else do we have? Judgment. Huh. Apparently we've already known this, and I don't recall having this before. This seems like this is a new skill. Call upon divine power to augment a single strike dealing. Maybe I did have it before. I don't know, guys. I have no idea what's happening. It looks like it was on button four before. I, I got nothing. All right, we're gonna. I don't know what to do, folks. Oh, I don't know. Avenger, make a solemn commitment to punish those who have committed. A uh, sign of vulnerability calls down divine power to brand a target. Okay, the target must make a DC 13 wisdom saving throw on a failed save. The target becomes vulnerable to radiant damage. That seems kind of stupid. I'm sure it's amazing, but I don't know what I'm doing, guys. You know me. I am very bad at things. All right. Point blank area of effect. Bolsters allies with toughness and resolve. Each ally in range gains plus 10% resistance to all damage and four maximum hit points. That's new. I don't remember seeing that one before. Could be totally wrong though. Alright, what is this? Divine Smite infuses a weapon with uh, divine energy for a single strike. Divine Smite, sorry, not strike. Maybe. Uh, I'm not using great weapon. Maybe, maybe, no, I'm using, that's right, I'm using a mace and a shield right now. Protection. Shield wall grants the user the strength and courage to raise a shield and automatically block incoming projectiles for 8 seconds. That sounds pretty useful. I have no points. So, I'm not sure. Maybe my tree didn't change. All this time. All this time, guys. Alright. So, apparently my tree didn't change, and they're not talking about this one. It seems like everyone else's has changed, or I accidentally clicked on stuff and did it. I don't... I don't know. But, there you have it, folks. There you have it. So... Alright, let's go back to our good old righteous champion here. Was it, uh, Elidia? Yep, and ugh, this is going to be rough. Alright, so what does she have right here? These are the cantrips. I don't want these things on her bar at all. Can we... There we go. It's like a little bit of a delay. It's got to go through like a full process. What is this? That is not a cantrip. Okay. Okay, cure wounds. These are both heals, right? So 20 second and it heals 7 to 8. This is a 30 second and it heals 10 to 14. This is a cantrip. Yep. This is a buff. This is not. Come on. There we go. So we're going to go something along these lines here. This is to remove negative effects. Alright, what is this? Turn undead. Eh. Spiritual weapon conjures a spectral hammer that hovers within range and will seek out and attack enemies, dealing force damage with each attack. The hammer will match the caster's level up to 5. Gains a bonus to strength and constitution equal to the caster's wisdom modifier. The hammer will exist until it is defeated. 120 seconds have passed, or the caster casts a spell again. I think I got that, didn't I? I, I was leaning toward getting that. I don't know if I actually did or didn't. I think I'm going to grab it for now. Uh, this is going to change things up a little bit, I realize. Alright, I'm going to go with 5 there. I'm going to put this at the end. I'm pretty sure she's not ideal for that. Additionally, I wanted to get this, but I think this is 2 points. Oh, it's only 1 point. Yeah, the good berry. Alright. So that's a 20 second cooldown. This is a 20 second cooldown, if I'm not wrong. This heals for way more. 9 to 12. This is what? 7 to 8. So there we go, something like that. So 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and the healing 10 to 14, 9 to 12, and then 7 to 8. So lowest to highest. That works. I like it. All right, I am okay with that. Let's go down to our scoundrel over here. 
good old, was it Larithar? Yeah, Larithar. Alright, what do we have? We have hide, and then we have this. This looks different. Or this is the passive. Okay, this is the passive. I think that graphic might be different, but maybe I'm just delusional, which is possible. Alright, I think I was going to go down a second point into hide, so I'm going to learn that. I know I did that for a fact. Is a thing that I did. What is this? Secret Stout. That is your ability. I think I leveled that up as well. I did. I'm almost positive. Secret Stout. Give him a little bit more of a heal. And then additionally, what else do we have? Two weapon fighting. Not the thing. I didn't want to go with that for him. We're not an archer. So we're back here. I was going to go, I think, another point in this, but I chose not to. I didn't want to go with Dirty Trick, and what was the disengage? It lowered... did it lower the time? No, it lowered the bonus. Our stealth checks, and it increases our damage resistance. Or we can go with our ranged weapon throw here too. Hidden Dagger... Now what is this? Misty Step, I did not get that for sure. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is maybe I'll go with disengage getting a little bit more damage resistance seems like it might be a decent play and evasion that seems pretty good too all right that's all well and good and now we get to go with our boy the arcane wizard Hamit 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 M's I know I went with magic missile too he's got mage armor he's got a bunch of cantrips too right we're gonna trade this one out Ray of Frost. We're going to go with Firebolt. Okay, what is this? Alright, Major Armor, that's fine. Going to get rid of the cantrips, though. Remove you. Chill Touch. Can remove you as well. Remove you. And you. Because we can always cycle those in and out. Sleep seems re relatively useful. This is a buff. Alright, I'm okay with those things. Uh, this is what, Chill Touch? Then what's this, Ray of Enfeeblement? I don't care so much about that. What do we have? Animate Dead. Pretty excited to see that one. Revitalize a nearby corpse with necrotic energies, animating it to do the caster's bidding for up to 120 seconds. And Vampiric Touch. I'm not really a big fan of touch spells. What's this? Thunder Wave? Nah. What is this? Over Channel. Caster... or charges the caster with magical energy, increasing spell power while overcharge is active. All damage dealt is maximized, but all cooldowns are increased by 100%, and the caster takes 1-6 to six necrotic damage each round. Huh. That doesn't sound that useful. And what is this? Emulation Sphere? It launches a glassy sphere of fire that shatters upon impact, to, impact with a targeted enemy. The target must make a DC 13 dex roll or check on a failed save. It takes extra damage. Eh. Sleep is okay. It's a ranged area of effect. Sleep 2. It's a 5 yard radius. Magic weapon. I'm not really liking most of this stuff. Invisibility. And it's not a big fan. Summoner. Oh, yes, this is what we did. So it was actually you that had the summoned creature, so we didn't go with that last time. Well, that's good to know. Again, I am okay with that. Now, I wanted to get Melf's Acid Arrow, too. I was a pretty big fan of that back in the day, so... I was hoping to snag that bad boy up, but apparently that's not the case. So what we'll do is we'll get one more point into our magic missile, and we'll call it a day. Um, uh, maybe... No, nah, yeah, I think we will. All right, one more point in Magic Missile. There we go. We're going, like, massive offensive tree here. I know it's it always is a good idea to have multiple different skills, so when one's on cooldown, you can use the next one, but... Wow, 37 seconds. That's way higher of a cooldown than I thought it was. It's okay, though. All right, I think we're back in order or position. I don't know, guys. All right, let's continue on for realsies now, guys. I'm sorry that took 10 minutes for me to get everything situated once again, but... It is simply what it is, right, folks? Alright, we're going to go into hiding. And we're going to take a look around and see what it is that we need to do. There's Nettie. Why can't you go home? 
Nettie, I'm so sorry. Sorry, guys, I'm fidgeting with my headset right now. Which, apparently, there we go. I'm so sorry. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? Uh, why can't you go home? Well, that can't be good. Well, I feel like our sound effects are a little bit off again, guys, so... Give me a second while I play with more settings. Uh, again, anytime you get a big patch, guys, things are bound to change just a little bit. I think the music is fine. Maybe I'll up the master volume just a little bit. And I'm going to increase the speech. I think the speech was off before, and that was the problem that they actually addressed or fixed, so I am looking forward to seeing how this actually plays out now. Let's uh, close this off, and... Hmm. I guess we keep looking. I don't know if we're going to get into a fight right away or what the deal is. Well, we can always move Larathar around. There's Gil. Gil, can you tell us where we are? Huh. And that's what vanishing? That's interesting. Alright, so here's my question, guys, to all of you. I'm posing this to you guys right now. Does everything sound okay? I mean, do I need to readdress uh, sound levels? So if the voices are too quiet, let me know, and I'll readjust it for the next episode. I feel like they're a little bit quiet, but I don't know for sure. It's hard to tell. Again, I have a new headset that I got recently, and everything sounds different now. It actually sounds good, but different, so I don't know. Sir Banagar? That's interesting. Let's go see what Sir Banagar has to say to us. Judgment, children of the abyss. He and his late bear the truth. You serve the mad one, devourer of hope, the red general of the gibbering hordes. Oh, good. Banagar, we killed you. No, it is a lie. We do not serve demons. You question Tarmikos's orders. Surely you can see things our way. You make accusations without knowing the truth. All right. Let's see, he, he questioned his uh, boy's orders. I see things not at all. You have killed me, demon spawn. In that moment, the truth became clear. Did it? The world perishes in fire or in shadow. And there you stand, at the heart of it. My order was right to keep watching you. Right to see you die. You try to kill us. I, I pity you. Such a creature as you were worthy of it. Yeah, you should run. I'll kill you again, fool. Okay, so that's going on. It's a little bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go once again into our stealthy way. We have Larathar over here. We're just kind of walking around, cruising, doing what we do. And apparently there's Dretch. I don't know who Dretch is, but I'm sure we'll figure it out soon enough. Hello, Dretch. I am not your master. I will destroy you, demon. Yes, bow to me, spawn of the abyss. I am not your master. No, you serve the master. The mad one calls to you. Come, he calls. We answer. No, no we don't. No, you answer. I hide. That's what I do. I hide. I am like, nope. Sorry, mad ones. Not me. It's not my thing. Definitely not my scene. Alright, well, Larathar, I think you should be doing some searching here. Just to see, maybe there's a nasty little trap here, no? Right. Well, that's creepy. What is happening here? I must be dreaming. I never ended the world. Hmm. You 
think so, do you? Well, I gotta say, things do not look like they're going well for us. The story is all starting to seem pretty glib and dark. There's a bunch of dretch over here. The Gilded Eye Soldier, what are we supposed to be doing? Why are we he- Why are we healing- No! I don't understand what's supposed to be happening here. Alright, well, whatever, there's not much we can do. Let's go talk to Ta- Tassilius? Tassilisus? You have come here to see the birth of a new god. It was, after all, your sacrifice that made it possible. I died for no reason. In rage and ceaseless pain, as ruled the world. It will come to pass. You died trying to save our friends. You died a hero. We tried to save you. This isn't our fault. Step away from my friend, Drow, or die. You died trying to save our friends. You died a hero. He died because it was supposed to happen. He was a piece on a board in a game played by gods and demons. You will see, my friend. We are siblings in purpose, if not in blood. He calls to you as he once called to me. How may I serve? Creepy. All right, you have found a fitting place to rest and rejuvenate where you can speak with your companions and reflect on days past. Here, as nowhere else, you feel safe as if dangers cannot touch you among your friends. Oh, oh, dear. 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 Clearly you had another rough night, the way you were tossing and carrying on like your head was on fire. <laughs> Aye, it was rough. Got a bit of a headache this morning, I do. I worry that these nightmares could be prophetic. As if someone's trying to communicate with you. Perhaps it is best to suffer through them until we know who and why. Did you say you have a contact in Luskin who can help? I'm worried that we might have no choice but to suffer. Why would anyone use nightmares to talk to us? Let's go with option three. A lot of beings communicate through dreams. Gods, spirits, wizards, even demons. Hmm. Wait. Demons? Like the spawn of the abyss, demons. That's not good. There are Thank a you, Hobbit. There are of beings that could be trying to contact you. I didn't mean to imply. What she's trying to say, I imagine, is not to worry. I'm sure our friend in Luskin knows all kinds of crap about dreams and whatnot. <laughs> You'll be fine. His name is Soranil Noonshadow. He's a wizard, and a bit of an information broker. He asked us to find survivors of the attacks on your guild and bring them to him. He can help you. Alright, well then let's go find your contact. You trust this Soranil? How could your contact know about the attacks? I think that's a good question. Three He's again. Diviner. He likely foresaw it with his foreseeing equipment. Mm. I've seen him do it before. He gets all smug about it when he works. He also trades in information. Perhaps one of his contacts heard plans to attack your guild, and he wants to know why. He's an elf. I'd go with the magic thing. Uh, Alright, well then, uh, do you trust him? Aye, he hasn't steered us wrong yet. To be honest, true trust is a luxury at the moment. I need certain information, and he's the only one who can offer it. And what sort of information is that? Then let's go find your contact. All right, what sort of information? Pertains to my own personal quest. I'm sure there'll be time to explain it if our paths remain crossed for the near future. All right, let's go find this contact of yours. Aye, I'd rather get right to work than spend all morning jawing out here in the open. Aye, all business. I like that in a woman. Get in line, you twig. <laughs> Creepy. Get a room, you two. Nova. All right, let's see here. Get a room, she you two. Started it. Aye, and I'll be finishing at two. <laughs> children, children. I can tell this is going to be an interesting day. Can you the tell? It's not too far from here. Big wall, huge doors, can't miss it. We might be wanting to check in with Harlan. Make sure we're square on the caravan job. 
I'm not holding out hope for a glowing review. Keep heart, my new friends. I have a feeling that the help you need is just through those gates. I don't know if I trust you so much anymore. You seem pretty... Pretty eager and excited to get us to go through the gates. What's on the other side? Is it an ambush? Are you going to turn on us and shoot us in the back? Are you going to summon your new spiritual weapon of doom and slaughter us? I don't know. Click on the map boundary to open the world map. Once the map is open, look for the unique icon for your destination. Alright. Well, we have a guild chest. Which we can spin. Um... Go to the world travel. Let's get out of here. Wait, I imagine we can probably talk to our folks. Let's talk to Jarheel since what we're not using mean? her. I'd like to learn more about you. Aye, we haven't had a chance to talk very much since you joined up, have we? Nope. My family goes way back, back to Mithril Hall, if you believe that. Our family scattered from there after Shimmergloom attacked, and we returned when King Battlehammer signed the treaty with the Many Arrow Orcs. Uh. It's Quite the history. Five. We were smiths. I know, be still your heart. But we were good. Me clan got the name Stoneforge because it says me ancestor could forge stone into a blade fit for battle. Why you'd want to do that, I'll never know. Me ma and da left for Mirabar just before I was born. Looking to expand the family business, they said. Too much competition from other smiths, I say. Well, that's just smart business, me I'd da say. Was anything but stupid. That's for sure. We made good coin there. And we made a name for ourselves in Mirabar. I worked in the forge as a wheeler, swinging a hammer right alongside me da. Funny remembering it now. I'm not sure I hated it as much as I thought I did. Well, I need to get a bite to eat. Maybe we'll find some time to talk later. Alright, I should be going. Oh, well, hold on. Do you have any tactical observations to share? Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Make me better. We've got to get into Luskin and see this contact of theirs. If he knows anything about why we were attacked, he might know who we should be stabbing next. Okay. Don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. Nova. All right, let's get out of here. Go to the world travel. We're actually running out of time. I feel bad about this episode, guys. I do apologize. Wasn't ex wasn't really expecting or planning to have to redo all our skill trees, and I wanted to kind of go over everything again. I do apologize once again, but that's it. That's the last I'm going to speak of it. No more ever. All right, the high road, a bone strewn burrow, and a mercenary's cave. And it looks like we are going to go to Luskin now. And here we are in Luskin. We can go to the cemetery, the slums, the cutlass, or here. Ooh, it has a little thing. City gates. The gates of Luskin, once open to admit trade from other lands, now stands shut. Only those with proper permits are able to enter the city. Outside the gates, a small tent community of refugees, travelers, and merchants now await entry into the city. Luskin's walls offer them little protection from the harsh northern weather or their growing hunger. All right, let's travel to it. Are you sure you want to travel to the city gates? I am sure. All right, well, we are our level three paladin, good old Scytherin. We can also bring along a Jarhild the fighter or the rest of our folks. I think we're going to go with Larathar. I think I'm going to probably leave her alone. We're going to bring our other folks along, and that's going to be the play. Let's see how it works out. Accept it and move on. All right, we just read this, so I suppose I could have waited and read it now, so we're not sitting here waiting for the loading screen to come through. But in reality, guys, we only have like two or three minutes left before I'm going to break off the episode, which kind of sucks because, again, we didn't accomplish too much. At least we got out of the Nightmare World. We advanced the storyline a little bit. We got ourselves resituated with our current level up stuff. And I don't know. I think we're poised for the next one. I might... You know what? I'm going to do another episode on Monday and again on Wednesday of next week. So if you guys are looking forward to more... Sword Coast Legends, I'm going to try to start doing two per week after this week, so look for that. I'm also going to do my very best to actually get some stuff knocked out the rest of the way. We're getting there, but we're not quite there. So if I can clear out another game or two, I'll be pretty happy on our docket. So let's move around, see what we can see. Apparently there is world travel there. And I don't think anything wants to kill us here. Oh, there's a rat. We can totally go own the rat. If you say so. 
Let's get our yes. boys to move down this way. Boys and our girls, rather. All right. Where is the rot? Let's Sounds kill like also the, the rot. Sure. There's more than one rot. Yeah, yeah. And it's a wow. dead rat. Yeah. yeah. Die, rat. Right. That's right. Like a Never stood a chance. Ooh, we got 18 experience sure. for that. What's this? Oh, it's my sacred weapon of yeah. awesome. Yes. Who else has a sacred weapon of awesome? You do, don't you? Summon your beast. What are you doing? Yeah. There we go. Now we're talking. What did he summon? I'm curious. Is that a spider? It is a spider. Alright, cool, cool. Alright, let's get to sneaking around and looking around for more horrible things. Oh, there's an evil snowman! Yes! This is horrifying and also cool. Like, literally, temperature-wise is what I'm talking about. All right, let's get you boys over here. All right. Let's look at the snowman. All it has is some coal on it. We'll take it. Oh, wait, there's a sword or something on the ground, too. Ooh, it's plus one carver. Yeah, take it. Anything else? No, the snowman's empty, and there's a fresh corpse. Snow gloves. And a note from the landlord. Sounds like a plan. All right. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else there. I mean, the the sword wasn't actually even highlighted. I had to like zoom in on it. Well, that's interesting. Uh, let's go take a peek at what the landlord letter says. What do the snow gloves do as well? That's kind of important, I suppose. We'll examine them. Great for snowballs. Terrible for catching on fire. Well, cold resistance, but not great. Also, what is that? Is that Larithar? He's see-through. That's kind of not cool. Yep. Oh, because he's stealthed. Ah, okay. That's cool. That's cool. I was worried there briefly, but I'm no longer concerned. Um, note from the landlord. Let's uh, examine it. Hey, you are two months behind rent. If you don't pay up soon, I'll be calling the guards. Not everyone is lucky enough to have a loft by the markets. Dunar Mem Ek. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's get moving with our boy Larithar and see yeah, what else yeah. we can find out here in the wilderness. We found a snowman. We found all sorts of other various cool, awesome things. Literally cool with the uh, temperature, of course. That's what we're talking about. Get you guys to move there. Sounds like a plan. And it looks like there's not much else until we go over and yeah. talk to the merchants, the caravans, and all that stuff, guys. Yeah, yeah. It looks like that is going to be the play. So, that being said, I'm going to come back down this way, toward where we killed the rats originally. And once we're here, we're going to break off the episode, and in the future episodes, again, next week, guys, Monday... What was that sound? Oh, the, the weapon went away. Monday and Wednesday, guys, that's when I'm going to try to do the next two episodes. We'll see. We have hopes. We have dreams. We have the potential to be amazing. But we'll see. We shall see. Either way, folks, it's going to do for this episode. I will see you next time as I continually get scared by my summoned creatures going away. Right. I will see you next time with more Sword Coast Legends. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>